All right, hi everybody. This is the Math 20-1 Trigonometry Review. This is question 5C. It's, it's giving me a point here in the first quadrant. Now, what I'll do is I'll, we'll draw this out here. So it's giving me the point on the terminal arm in the first quadrant, and the coordinates are uh, root 3 over 2, comma 1 over 2. Now it's asking me to find the qua uh, coordinates of, qua uh, of points Q, R, and S in each of the other quadrants respectively if we move this around here. Now what this is really asking us to do is this. If we take this point, okay, this point P, and we reflect it into the second quadrant, okay, it's going to look like this out here. Okay, this will now be point Q. Ah, sorry, I wrote theta. I meant Q. The coordinates of point Q, if I, if I flip this over, it's going to be the same point. The distances are the same, but instead of going to the right, I'm going to the left, which makes our x-coordinate negative. And yet I'm still going up. So the coordinates of this point here would be negative root 3 over 2, comma 1 half. Okay? So all that's going to happen here when I reflect that into the, the second quadrant here is that the x-coordinate turns negative. If I now reflect this into quadrant 3, okay, it's going to come down here. This time it's, this is point R that I'm referring to. In this case, notice the distances are still expected to be the same. I'm still going over root 3 over 2, and I'm going vertically 1 half, but now both of those are negative. So this will end up being negative root 3 over 2, comma, negative 1 over 2. And then if I reflect that again into the fourth quadrant, okay, here's point S. Well, in this case here, again, the distances are the same, but this time I'm going root 3 over 2 positively, but I'm still going down. So this will be positive root 3 over 2, comma, negative 1 half. Okay, and those are the quadrant, uh, sorry, the coordinates of those four points.